You're watching the Rev Zone Sports Show on Fox 5. We each have a battle we're going through, something we're fighting through every day that maybe most people can't tell. Every interaction I've had with Reese Brown, he's smiling, laughing, always sweet, and seems to really enjoy his teammates. But internally, he's coming out on the court every day, carrying this heavy weight of his mother passing away from lung cancer in April of 2021. It's been anything but easy for the sophomore forward living on the other side of the country during a pandemic while his mother fought for her life in Albany, New York. But Reese tells me what he's learned from watching his mother, his rock, battle through stage four lung cancer. Yeah, you know, obviously, like, it was a tough, tough year. Like, I had to deal with a lot off the court. Like, even before then, that was, like, the last straw. So, uh, I guess really just learn how to never stop fighting. You know, she never stopped fighting for us towards the end. Um, you know, she was a very, she was a very, like, never always played it off to, like, better than it was. So, you know, after, you know, going through that whole process, like, I'm just getting a text message, like, updates, like, oh, she's back in New York City or she's back in this, this or that. So got to go see this doctor. So it was pretty stressful, um, you know, having to deal with that and, like, trying to balance school and basketball at the same time. But, you know, I definitely just learned how to just be a fighter, you know. I got, I was lucky enough to be able to see her again for the last few weeks uh, before she passed um, after the season last year. So, you know, got, getting to see her uh, look, you know, pretty bad, you know, it was tough, but like kind of just really motivating for me and like, you know, seeing her like just not want to fight, still like still trying to recover for her kids. And like she was literally, tell, literally on her deathbed and she was telling me like, no, like, like, don't wait for me. You got to get back out to UNLV. And she like couldn't even like comprehend everything. So like, I feel like it just, more of a reason, just more of a more of a path for my journey. You know, everybody's path is different, and mine takes a little bit longer. But I'm confident in, in what, what the future is going to hold. It's almost been one year since Reese's mother passed away, and there's not one day that goes by where Reese doesn't miss her beautiful smile. I asked Reese how he wakes up every day and pushes through the pain. You know, like I said, like I know my mom wouldn't want me like to to be sitting around sad all the time. You know, I know she would want me to to still like live life and you know it's more just like motivation that life is short you know it's just a reminder that any day could be your last so just go out there's no need for negativity like I'm really I feel like my mindset like I'm, I've matured like 10 years in the past like like during that few months stretch for real so it was just like you know like every day like like she everyone always talked about like my mom's smile and everything so like I just kind of like stayed the same you know like if, if, any, if anything even more so like I have my close circle that, that I could talk to like when I am down like I have my people in, in my in my circle so like I know that's not going to change and you know it's, it's going to stay that way and you know I don't open up to too many people but you know she she would want me to, to be happy and keep going and that's kind of like what I do you know I'm still I'm always a happy goofy guy I'm always dancing and stuff I'm like the dancing guy on the team so there's no reason to be sad life's too short to be sad cool. <laughs> good good beautiful story from Reese and mm -hmm. he is so happy so smiley such a great guy you would never know that he's carrying all this with him, but he was telling me just how challenging last year was as a freshman being on campus, dealing with COVID and not being able to to visit his mom in, in New York. What conversations did you have with him last year? Yeah, just trying to be there for him as much as you can. You know, you can't even imagine what that's like. And uh, but like he said, Reese is happy. He, he's great to have around. We're, we're proud he's a rebel. We're glad he's a rebel. And uh, yeah, he had to go through that and uh, during COVID especially. Couldn't have been easy, um, uh, but he continued to work. He continued to be with the team. And uh, so, like I said, we're, we're happy Reese is a rebel. He's told me he's matured 10 years in the past two years, basically. How have you seen him mature and, and kind of grow up from, from what he's had to go through? Well, I think Reese, especially in his situation, you know, he's a, you know, with his mom and dad, he had great parents at home. He's got a great sister uh, in his life. But uh, I think as much as anything, he's taken a lot more accountability and ownership of kind of his own path, like he talked about. And uh, just, uh, you know, making decisions, adult decisions, and, you know, whether it be being on time or communicating, 
Um, but the, the best part about Reese is when you talk to him, he understands. He sees the bigger picture. And uh, I think that's a, a, one of the reasons I think he's going to be a really good player is he just stays with it. He keeps working. No matter what we ask him to do, he does it. And, uh, and you've got to have guys like that on your team. Coming off the bench this season, what are you seeing from him right now? I'm just seeing a guy every time he goes in, he has no idea when he's going to go in. Um, it's been at different <laughs> points throughout yeah. the year. But it's the same expression. He runs hard to the scorer's table. He, he checks in. He communicates. Uh, we've asked him to play on the perimeter, to guard some of the best players in the Mountain West, to play in the post. And, uh, and he's done all of it. And he never bats an eye. He tries to do it to the best of his ability. And uh, that's, like I said, you've got to have guys like that if, uh, if you want to be on a winning team.